Hello everyone, my name is Kayla Batakis. Today I will be talking about how inflation is measured in the United States. Inflation refers to the general increase of price over time, reducing the purchasing power of money. And the question that I had before we started module four was, how do we actually measure inflation in the United States? And that question was um, gladly answered in this module. And in the United States, the most common way that inflation is measured is the Consumer Price Index, or the CPI. The Bureau of Labor Statistics calculates the CPI by tracking the average price increase of a fixed basket of goods. And these goods or services can be food, housing, transportation, medical care, etc. And to measure inflation, we compare the CPI over time. So, for example, suppose the CPI was 250 last year and it has risen to 262 this year. We can calculate the inflation rate um, by using the formula a new CPI minus old CPI divided by old CPI times 100. And in terms of um, our example, that would be 262 minus 250 divided by 250 times 100, which would be about 5%-ish. And that basically means that on average, prices have increased by 5% over the past year. And other measures of inflation can include the producer price index, PPI, um, the personal consumption expenditure, um, which the Federal Reserve uses to guide monetary policy. Um, but to give a personal example, I used to really enjoy um, a Tivana tea from Starbucks when I was little, which when I was in elementary school cost about $3. Um, and I've noticed, you know, over the years, the price has increased quite a bit. And in 2025, that same drink you know, it was priced at, you know, over $4. And usually typical tea at Starbucks will cost even more than $4 if you're gonna get um, a drink on the larger side, maybe. And this gradual rise is really just inflation in action, showing how prices steadily increase over time, affecting everyday purchases. Understanding inflation is very much important because it impacts wages, interest rates, and the overall economy, whether you're saving for the future, taking out a loan, planning your budget, inflation definitely plays a key role in financial decision making. Yep. So thank you.